Oh, this climb is so steep. Sushi was a bad choice. <laughs> All right, this is starting to feel a little like Groundhog Day. Today I'm starting off the climb on the DT Swiss uh, M1700 wheels. They are the alloy wheels for our test group. I have owned these wheels, I think twice now. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with them. I actually like them a lot. Um, they are great wheels. They hold up pretty well, especially for uh, less expensive alloy wheels. They stay true really well. Um, general performance is great. I like the reliable DT Swiss hub. It's a busy day out here today. These wheels are not particularly exciting on the climbs. They do a good job, but they aren't super lively, energetic, and fast. Like the Envy wheels, I think the zips even felt faster, more lively. Don't really have any complaints against these wheels. There's just no praises to sing either for climbing performance. DT uses a pretty cool drive mechanism in their hubs. It's called a star ratchet. So it's not a traditional pawl system with teeth in an outer ring and the pawls that grab those teeth and turn the wheel. It's actually two uh, rings that face each other with teeth that engage. They do make this in a, an 18 tooth, I wanna say 36 and 52. 52 obviously will have the most points of engagement for the fastest engaging hub. The ones I'm on today are the 350 hubs with an 18 tooth star ratchet. So 20 degrees of engagement. These wheels use an alloy rim and typically alloy wheels weigh more than carbon wheels. Still haven't weighed these trying not to skew my opinions before finishing all the test rides. I would bet these are close to the zips in overall weight, uh, but I bet they don't even come close to the Envy's. Those Envy wheels were light. I wouldn't be surprised if I've done this climb a hundred times by now, um, which makes it a really good test track for this wheel video tried to eliminate as many variables as possible. I ran a lot of controls with tires, bike, tire pressures, and trail. So I've got a good idea of what to expect on this climb. And all the differences I'm feeling are coming down to wheels alone. So techie bits here. I think that was a little harder to get through than on the other wheel sets. Those Envy's have a higher engaging hub by a lot. And the zips are significantly higher. And, and, and when it comes to techie climbing, I, for me, hub engagement is like the number one thing. The faster the hub engages, the easier it is to keep that wheel turning in the rocky, chunky stuff. These DT Swiss wheels felt like they had uh, almost as much traction as the uh, zips in the rocky stuff. Uh, they didn't skip and bounce around as much as the Envy's. They stuck to the ground better like those zip wheels. But I wanna say those zip wheels took the cake there. The traction was the best in the loose, rocky stuff. I think just because of that extra compliance. They might even be more compliant than these. These wheels just kind of give the bike a sit and spin type feel where 
you don't really want to stand up and sprint and push it really hard. This doesn't give you that much reward for your effort. Um, but they feel good enough to just sit and spin, put it in maybe a little easier gear. Keep spinning consistent circles and uh, you'll get to the top just fine. Coming up to the end of my time section here. If I had to bet, this would be the slowest climb time of all the wheels. Stopping the clock now. Just wrapped up the time section of this climb. I'm still super curious to see how all these wheels compare. There's really even a noticeable difference in time. There certainly is in ride quality and feel, but just curious to see how that relates to time and on-trail performance. Even if these wheels don't actually weigh the most, they feel the heaviest on the climbs in terms of how quick they accelerate and how lively they, how lively they feel. These have the most dull feeling on the climbs. These wheels, along with the other two on our test, have a 30 millimeter internal rim width, which is perfect for that like two, three to two, six inch wide tire, which is great for trail and all mountain riding. Um, a lot of XC people will run narrower tires. So these, all these wheels are kind of not in the XC racing category. They're in that all purpose trail, all mountain category. And these wheels fit right in. You know, as far as the, the specs and, and what they can do and their intended purpose, these alloy wheels are right up there with the other two top dogs that cost more than double. Just wrapping up my thoughts on climbing performance for these DT Swiss M1700 wheels. They are good. They're not great. They do the job. They're known for value and compliance on the downhill. They had the traction almost that those, D, that those zip wheels had, but they lack the uh, hub engagement and just kind of that overall zippy, lively carbon feel where comparing these to the Envies on the climbs, Envies are leaps ahead of this. You know, you also have to keep in mind the value aspect of all of these. Those other two wheels are really expensive. Where these are not cheap, but definitely they uh, put a big emphasis on value. Getting a lot of performance for less than half the price. Dropping into the downhill here on the alloy wheels. Wow, these uh, feel really, really good. This feels pretty quick. These uh, are not as quick out of a corner as the Envy's. They feel more like the zip wheels in that regard. They uh, still grip pretty well, but I think those zips did a better job giving you more traction. Jeez, that was close. <laughs> yeah, those zip wheels did a better job of conforming to the ground. Where these uh, maybe bend and flex just a little more than the Envy's. I do like 
how they feel though. They make a good, they strike a good balance between flexy and stiff. They feel a little more precise in the berms than the zip wheels did. They flex out of the way a little bit more, or a little bit less. But they just don't have that energy that the Envies had. Those were really remarkable. But for 800 bucks, I don't know if you can beat the uh, performance to value, value ratio on these wheels. That was a pretty wild ride up there. <laughs> Got loose a handful of times. Now we're heading down to the jumps. I think these wheels have felt really good there. I did like them on the upper bit. If anything, they struck a really good balance between stiff and flexy. Woo! Jumps feel really good. Feels kind of like the Envy where they spring quite a bit. Woo! So you do get plenty of pop and height. Um, but they aren't quite as stiff on the landings as the Envy's. They still make it feel like your suspension is performing really well. Something that compliant wheels are really good at. All right, so who are these wheels for? Obviously, some of those other wheels do other things better. Yo! <laughs> so the Envy's climb better. The Zips are maybe even more compliant and give you even better traction. These, I think, are just for someone looking for that Goldilocks wheel. And they also don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. These, value, these wheels are definitely the best value of how much performance you get for a dollar spent. Um, and that's a lot to be said. There are better performers in our test group at certain aspects. These are very good all-purpose wheel that you don't have to spend a ton of money on. Well, thanks for sticking around watching this video. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And be sure to check out the website where we've got the written review. That's going to be your most in-depth asset for this wheel review. Thanks for sticking around.